Look, I'm going to speak to Pauline Hanson regularly on this program because she represents more people than polls would have you believe. Pauline Hanson has been so demonised in this country that people will whisper that they agree with her, but they're frightened at dinner parties to proclaim their agreement. Remember when Pauline Hanson wasn't allowed a hall or a venue in which to express her views? And Australia has become more intolerant ever since. You dare not disagree with the experts. Before Pauline joins me, I noticed that the Labor Senator, Fatima Payman, part of a growing Muslim bloc in the federal parliament, with Ed Husik and Anne Ali of Labor and Mayreen Farouki of the Greens, Senator Payman was born in Kabul and her family fled the Taliban for Pakistan when she was two. Her grandfather was an MP in Afghanistan. Her family was super rich. Her father was studying medicine. But when they eventually got to Australia, the father who'd been training to be a doctor worked at a recycling pit and as a kitchen hand and as a taxi driver. It's not a bad story. 27-year-old Senator Payman was asked the usual provocative question meant to demonise Pauline Hanson. And the question was, how do you feel about being in the same chamber as Pauline Hanson, unquote? I find the question disgusting. But she said she'd like to have a cup of tea with Pauline. Pauline joins me. Pauline, thank you for your time. Would you have a cup of tea with Fatima Payman? I'll give me a gin and tonic. I prefer <laughs> that one. And it's, congratulate her on actually winning the spot. I've got no problem with that at all. But you don't make a comment wanting to have a cup of tea with another colleague um, from the Senate through the media. If she was serious, contact my office if you want to actually catch up with me if you fair fed income about it. All right. She said, we're both here for the same reason, to serve the Australian public. We're both here to make a difference. What are your thoughts? She seems a reasonable lady. It's a hell of a backstory, isn't it? Well, it is. You know, the struggles. I've been to Kabul. I went over there with the uh, Australian Army. Um, the, the fact is that she's won her seat. She has the right to be in this, on the floor of Parliament. She possibly doesn't agree with my views. I don't know. Um, we need to sort of talk to each other if that be the case. Yeah. But she is a person to be respected. She is a senator. Good I've got you. no problem with that. Good the same as my position should be respected as well. Absolutely. You do have to separate people like Fatima Payman from the militant Islamic behaviour from which her family escaped, don't you? Most definitely, and that's what I've always said, Alan, is that fundamentalists in pushing their agenda and ideology, which is incompatible with our way of life. And if she is terribly opposed to the fundamentalist um, Taliban and what they stand for, she hasn't got an enemy in me. Mm. I'll actually, you know, stand beside her. Yes, yes, it can be no fun fleeing the Taliban and losing everything. I've always found Ed Husik, a very common sense Australian, in reaching out to this growing Muslim bloc in the parliament. What would you say to them, Pauline? Don't forget where you are. Don't forget our values and, and the country that you have come to, you fled to. Her father fled here for a better way of life and brought his family. Don't turn your back on the culture or who the, we are as a people, as a nation. And never forget where you come from, why you fled that nation, and to ensure that this country never turns into the place that you fled. 